You want the fight? What were you even thinking? That you'd break into the LaRusso's and hurt Sam and then everything would be sunshine and roses? You're lucky the LaRusso's... Will Tori leave the Cobra Kai Dojo in Season 5? What her options are? Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video! Cobra Kai Season 5 is not only confirmed, but it is also finished filming. Yep, that's right. The next series right before Season 4 had even hit Netflix. Will Terry Silver's actions cause Tori to join a different dojo? Here are the different paths each character could take in Cobra Kai Season 5. But before we start, just know that if you did not watch Season 4, be aware that the following will be full of spoilers. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and try to be the first to like and comment on the video. Plus, turn on notifications so you won't miss any of the new videos. Do that now to help us reach a lot more fans of Cobra Kai out there. Be warned, the following is filled with spoilers for Season 4. So look away now if you're not up to date on the latest all-punching, all-kicking action. Without further ado, fasten your black belts and get ready to check out everything there is to know about Cobra Kai Season 5. Tori, Payne List, could have several different paths open to her if she were to leave Terry Silver's dojo in Cobra Kai Season 5. If that were to happen, Tori could become the latest of many Cobra Kai characters to jump ship. Over the course of the series, Robbie, Tanner Buchanan, Dimitri, Gianna Desenzo, and Hawk, Jacob Bertrand, have all been students for more than one sensei in the show. So far, Tori has only been in one dojo. She's been a part of Cobra Kai ever since she first joined the fold in Season 2, back when Johnny, William Zapko, was still in charge. Since Kreese's takeover, she's has emerged as one of the best and most dependable students. All the training she received throughout the series paid off in Cobra Kai Season 4 finale, when Tori beat Sam, Mary Mauser, in the final round of the All Valley Karate Tournament's girls division. However, Tori's victory was hardly a satisfying one. As it turned out, Terry Silver, Thomas Ian Griffin, paid off a referee to ensure her win. Normally, winning the tournament likely would have strengthened her desire to be in the dojo, but finding out the truth has jeopardized her future at Cobra Kai. Considering what she knows, there's a good chance that Tori won't be with them for much longer. Similar to what other characters have done after quitting a dojo, she could find herself practicing karate somewhere else or under a different sensei. Here are the options Tori has after Cobra Kai Season 4. Before we keep going, and if you like this video so far, Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Plus, turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our new videos. Do that now to help us reach a lot more fans of Cobra Kai out there. Tori stays at Cobra Kai. Tori has every reason to be angry at Silver, but there's at least a possibility that she'll try to stay at Cobra Kai. What she decides to do may depend largely on what she thinks about Kreese's involvement, with Silver's cheating, and what he tells them about Kreese's incarceration. As demonstrated by the entire plot of The Karate Kid Part 3, Silver is good at manipulating others and finding ways of getting them to do what he wants. If he can get Tori to believe that he isn't responsible for Kreese's predicament, she may reluctantly remain at the dojo and wait for her true sensei's return. For her, leaving may feel like a knee reaction. The problem, though, is that what Silver did may be a bit too much for her to just set aside and get over it. Tori quits Cobra Kai and waits for Kreese's return. Quitting the dojo feels like the most obvious choice for Tori to make in Cobra Kai Season 5. Silver cheating could easily sour her interest in karate and destroy her motivation, thus causing her to take a break from karate for a while. And not only did Silver cheat, but he also ousted Kreese from Cobra Kai and framed him for the brutal beating of Stingray, Paul Walter Hauser. It's important to note that Kreese, and not Silver or Johnny, has always been her true mentor. She never had any real loyalty to Silver, and he certainly didn't improve their relationship when he ordered her to fight dirty against Sam. So while Silver may succeed at manipulating the other students into sticking around, even without Kreese on hand, he may be able to do the same with Tori. She got a taste of his true colors in the season 4 finale, and may not be interested in giving him another chance. Tori may only rejoin Cobra Kai if Kreese comes back, removes Silver from his position, and resumes his role as its sole sensei. Silver being defeated does seem like a scenario that will eventually come to pass, but that may be a story that takes an entire season, if not more, to unfold. 
It's hard to imagine Cobra Kai leaving Tori in limbo for any length of time. Tori joins Miyagi-Do. An alternative to Tori not being in a dojo in Cobra Kai Season 5 would be for her to be taken in by Daniel, Ralph Macchio, and Chosen, Yuji Akimoto, and Miyagi-Do. Across three seasons, she had a bitter and violent rivalry with Sam, but their conflict may soon reach a resolution. Tori expressing sympathy for Sam after hurting her shows that she may be willing to move on. If that happens, Cobra Kai would be free to put the two characters on the same side of Miyagi-Do and perhaps continue their rivalry in an entirely different fashion. As for what she could learn from them, Tori's volatile demeanor suggests that she may not have much interest in what Daniel has to offer, but it's possible that she could benefit much from Chosen's guidance. Not unlike Tori, the Karate Kid Part 2 villain was once a reckless and impulsive character. How he managed to control and overcome the issues of his past could be applied to Tori's training at Miyagi-Do. Robbie and Tori join Eagle Fang. Another theory about Tori's future postulates that her romantic relationship with Robbie will result in her joining Eagle Fang. She was a student of Johnny once before, and could be once again in Season 5. Now that Robbie and Johnny are in the process of a reconciliation, the door is finally open for the two to train together under one roof. If the two do work out their problems, and the Season 4 finale indicated that they'll do just that, Robbie won't have any reason to remain with Cobra Kai. If he leaves, her issues with Silver may make it easy for them to convince Tori to follow him. Having both young fighters on his side could make Johnny's Eagle Fang Karate the strongest of the three dojos in the Netflix series. Tori continues to be Kreese's student. Kreese speaking up for Tori and taking her side against Terry Silver in the final round for the tournament was a major character building moment for him, as well as a testament to the strength of their bond. While Tori may be ready to leave Cobra Kai after season 4, she may not be so quick to turn her back on Kreese, who deserves a tremendous amount of credit for how she's grown as a fighter. In fact, Tori could be the one person on Kreese's side when Cobra Kai Season 5 kicks off. Once he gets out of jail, Tori could continue on as a student, but at some place other than Cobra Kai. If Johnny and Kreese repair their partnership, she could join Eagle Fang. Or, Kreese could open up a fourth karate dojo with Tori as a star pupil. Watch Cobra Kai Season 4 now on Netflix. And that wraps it up for today's video. We love to mix a little bit of speculation with facts. Please let us know the theories you have about this upcoming season in the comments. And before leaving, be sure to check out our amazing Cobra Kai playlist. Are you a true fan of Cobra Kai? What do you think about all that? What are your expectations for Season 5? Just share your thoughts in the comment section now. Would you like to see Mike Barnes or Hilary Swank return to the Karate Kid franchise? What do you think about Terry Silver and Chosen returning to Cobra Kai? Tell us what you think in the comment section now. We take time to read and like every comment. Well, obviously we can't wait for the release of Cobra Kai Season 5. So stay tuned on the channel for more news about Cobra Kai. And if you like this video and would like to hear from us again, Click the subscribe button below before leaving so we know that you enjoyed our video. Also, don't forget to go watch our other videos. See you next time!